I passed that feat and only studied two days. Firstly, I don't recommend doing this. I only did this because I procrastinated until right before my exam date and didn't want to push off the exam again. So I buckled down and studied almost 12 hours each of those days and took the exam and thankfully passed. Here are some tips that I use to help me pass. So hopefully you can use to help you pass being that you probably have a better schedule than I did. To prepare for the exam, I can recommend you getting into a routine a few days before the exam. My exam was in the morning at 8 or 9 a.m. So for the few days prior to the exam, I woke up early like I would on the day of the exam and was sitting and studying by 8 a.m. I then studied straight with no distractions for five and a half hours, the same time that the exam would take. On the day of the exam, I was ready mentally prepped to sit for five and a half hours to take my exam because of the routine I set for myself. The next thing I'd recommend is while studying not to do practice problems. Now let me explain. I had an online folder that my friends shared with me for studying materials for the FE. Initially when I started studying for the exam, I had a checklist of every single topic that would be in the exam and started reading the study guides for each topic. Studying some of the material, such as high school math, made it really difficult to stay motivated, which is why I fell off the train by the beginning. When it got down to two days before the exam, I realized I need to maximize the efficiency of my time. So I realized I can't waste my time on studying stuff I already knew. The method I used to study was look at the question, see if I understand how to solve the problem and where to reference the equation if needed. I then checked the solution to see if my thought process was correct. If yes, great, and I moved on. If not, I went through the problem with a pen and paper and figured out how to solve the problem. This modified method of studying allowed me to fly through topics that I already knew quite well and forced me to spend time on topics that I wasn't strong at. When studying, you should have the reference manual open on the side of your screen. You should be proficient in using the control F function to find formulas that you need. As I mentioned before, when you're going through the practice examples, you should be locating the formulas, which will get you comfortable with using that reference manual on the day of the exam. The night before the exam, you should stop studying and go to sleep early. At this point, you won't cram any information into your head, and one of the only outcomes from studying more is doubting yourself. While taking your exam, use your time efficiently. You have about two minutes to solve each question. If you understand how to solve the problem right away, then go ahead and solve it. If you're unsure how to approach a topic, and it may take a few minutes to solve, then flag it and go back to it after you finish that section. When you're going through those problems that you needed a few more minutes on, a small trick that I did was searching for keywords in the example. For me, I didn't know how to solve a transportation engineering problem, and it asked me something about a turn radius of a road. I didn't know how to solve this, so I used the control F function, the find function of the reference manual, and searched the keyword the problem was asking for. For another example, I searched the given input data as such as vehicles per minute, and scrolled through the results until I found the equation that looked right. After using the equation, I saw that my answer matched one of the multiple choices that was given. Going on a tangent, the fact that the test is multiple choice allows you to do what I just described and search equations, but also allows you to make educated guesses. If you understand some basic concepts of a topic, then you can usually eliminate one or even two answers while guessing. I'm not suggesting you guess a lot, but this is a nice perk to take advantage of. And remember, there's no penalty for wrong answers, so if you don't know an answer, just at least guess. When you get to the midpoint of your exam, take the optional 30 minute break, even if you don't think you need to. Just walk around and do nothing. This will allow your brain to get a small but much needed break. Remember that the exam asks about a plethora of topics, and contrary to popular belief, does not ask the toughest question from each topic, but rather the easiest one, or an easier one. Think about it. The exam consists of 120 questions, so it's impossible for them to ask you tough questions for each and every topic. Lastly, that remember, you did learn all this material in school, so if you took your classes seriously, then you should be okay. I hope my experience helps you pass your FE exam. If you did pass your exam, congratulations. And if you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you did find it helpful. I post a video every other week, so please subscribe if you're a young civil engineer starting out in the industry. Thanks for watching, and as always, Stay civil.